Welcome back to another weapon build video and today we're going to take a look at the quorum. So if you already know what the quorum is and if you don't know then a little bit this came from the new war. I think everybody shouldn't really notice by now. Not kind of giving it a spoiler alert blah 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 because it's been out for a very long time now. So if you haven't done it then so sorry. But quorum is a weapon that is out if you did the new war quest. All right, and you can get this from the Cetus uh, from a guy. He's by the front gate. So if you go to him, he has all the bounties. You got to do the bounties to get the parts, the weapon, whatever it is. I think it's just probably the blueprints for the weapons. And, and obviously there comes with resources to build those weapons. So blueprint, resources, that's all you need. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. We have attack speed of a whole one, which is good, by the way. We have critical chance of 24%, we have crit multipliers 2.2, and 30% status. So not bad stats we have here, high status, that's what we're going to aim for. Impact 52, puncture is 104, and the same as a slash, so not bad. I like this, 260 damage, really not terrible. Here's my build setup. For this build, of course, is prime reach. The second build is going to be non-prime reach for anybody that loves non-prime reach, or any of my prime reach users, this is going to be for you guys. Um, Shimmering Light, or Blight, actually. This Stance Mod, really great. I honestly don't use the combo moves because they aren't they are not needed at all. And I just play how I regularly would play with the weapon, uh, with the pole arms. I mean, just it's just like one, two combo moves, and that's really just it. You just swing it around, round, around. So yeah. Prime Reach, Weeper Wounds, Blood Rush, Condition Overload, Violent Scourge, Fishes Frost, Buzzkill, and Organ Shatter. All these play a huge part on this weapon. At a Buzzkill for higher uh, slash damage, we have Vicious Frost for Unranked to keep that viral damage down a little bit so we can proc a lot more slash. Of course, Violent Scourge is the highest in max rank. And everything else you already know about these mods, Condition Overload, it's going to do really good damage for our build status type affecting the target very well all right so you guys already know that which you probably don't know is why do i not have berserker fury on because i don't need it arcane strike is going to give you on hit on rank 5 15 percent six percent attack speed two melee weapons for 18 seconds so really you don't need Berserker Fury, all right? This is going to just make your builds even better, all right? So let's go ahead and run this out. So you can see the attack speed is freaking crazy and the weapon is doing crazy damage, like, bruh. Like, just look at that. Isn't that insane? So, since we couldn't even show off the second thing I want to show you guys, um, I was going to try to mix that in there. There's a special ability you can do with the weapon, all right? It only takes a button to hold and also a button to push. And it's that. And that's what it can do. So, I'm going to go ahead and build this up. Shock them with that. And it should do pretty great damage. As long as you have your combo multiplier build up and everything, it'll do more damage. Just like that. But not most of the time is it's effective. So, you know, it is what it is. But it's a cool little, you know, ability you can do. Now, here we have the second build. Of course, non-prime reach. And everything is on here. But we also have... Sacrificial Steel now. 220% critical chance. So we're adding on more critical chance for this because um, it's not that low. So I thought it was, you know, useful to add critical chance in here. So we can do somewhat good critical chance. So damn near orange crits, red crits. Not red crits, actually. It needs to be higher than that. Um, but orange crits is definitely going to happen. So... But yes, adding on that just makes the weapon 10 times crazier. 
and uh, just does more does more damage as you can see so i like that i really yo the quorum it's got to be the most powerful um pole arm in the game right now like i i really thought guandeo was at the top of the list but uh quorum might actually steal that But yeah, that uh, second ability, it's not bad. It's not too bad. But uh, yeah, it just doesn't do a lot of damage as you expect. And the reason why is because it's not that, it, you, I don't know. I really don't know. I think you, because you can't just build for it. That's the only reason why. Because you can't really build for a second, you know, that second ability. But it just doesn't give you the enough damage to but it's something a little light, so I guess it could come in handy. When taking Quorum to the Still Path, really amazing weapon. I would say probably the second build would be best to take to the Still Path since it does have a higher crit, critical chance. Since you threw on Sacrificial Steel. So you'll definitely be able to take down those Acolytes. Honestly, pretty quickly. Because this weapon is just pretty powerful, I would say. Which, I don't know why. It's just probably just special. So maybe Corum is probably one of the best pole arms in the game. I still love Guandeo. Guandeo is pretty still powerful as we speak to because of his higher critical chance. Maybe the slash damage. I think it might be better on the Guandeo. But who knows? I think, you know, the Corum has something special and more to give somehow. But. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about the builds in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Links are right in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.